So this is the shirt. Borough's first all red effort since 1982. We'd always had a white band or some form of white stripes on there somewhere. But it's quite an iconic one, isn't it? The pattern, the eye for skill leisure, the evening gazette sponsor, even the little squares down the sleeves. This shirt in particular was actually worn by one of the players, one of Borough's new signings, John Walk. And you can see he wore number 16 in a pre-season game in this very shirt. You know it's a match-worn shirt because it's got the, uh, the stitching around the side of the numbers with the nice flock material. You've got buttons down here rather than press studs that were actually sold on the replicas at the club shop. The sleeves are slightly short as well. If you check out your old Borough shirts, if you've got one of these, see how long your sleeves are. It's a slightly tighter cut as well, which obviously the players do prefer. But it's a great looking shirt. Good season for the Borough. Finished seventh, got in the playoffs, did get knocked out by Notts County. But we brought in players like John Hendry and Robbie Musto, who would actually go on to transform the club over the 90s with Lenny Lawrence and then Brian Robson. But it's a great looking Borough shirt. I do like that it's all red with this nice white trim on the collar, the sleeves and down here. But what do you think? What do you remember of that season? Robbie Musto's first, John Hendry's first, John Walk's one only season at the Borough. And where does this rank in your all-time rankings of those Borough home shirts? Do you like that it's all red? Would you prefer the band? Let us know what you think in the comments. Remember, if you like these videos, give us a like, give us a share, subscribe to our channel. You'll be able to see more of these videos on Borough shirts.